Hello everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and today's process video is also the reveal of this month's Challenge Yourself Scrapbook Challenge. And so the prompt for this month is your favorite song. And I decided to take a photo, a selfie of myself from last month when I was doing um, a walking challenge to raise money for um, cancer awareness. I decided to take that photo since I was wearing headphones and instead of doing my favorite song, I did my the top five songs I listened to on Spotify last month. And I did it that way because when I thought about what's my like all-time favorite song, I kind of froze up. I don't know how to answer that question because there are so many songs that I love, but like right now there are so many songs that I really enjoy and listen to all the time. And so I just kind of decided to do sort of a uh, at this moment in time type of thing. But obviously you could do something very different and that's what the fun of the challenge is. Of course, you have to have a photo of yourself somewhere on the layout, so don't forget that. And you can get all the details down below in the description box, the link to the Challenge Yourself website, and where you can get the details on how to enter and see what the rest of the design team created. <clears throat> okay, so for this one, since it's kind of just a random photo, um, I decided to just find random items from my stash. So I actually have a big uh, plastic bag full of scrap pieces and I took a, a piece of Vicky Booten white uh, foundation paper cardstock and that's going to be my base and then I'm just going to like use random stuff from this bag and layer it all up and uh, and make it work. So this is Vicky Booten vellum paper which doesn't it doesn't cut super well with my creative memories circle cutting system. Although that's probably more because I was sort of cutting and going off the edge of the paper. Um, just something to keep in mind <laughs> if you're using that and using it with the, the sort of thinner paper. But I liked it because those circles had numbers in them. And I didn't have numbers one through five, I just had numbers one through four. But I decided I was going to still use those since I was doing a top five and then it sort of feels like I'm, I'm counting with those numbers. Now, I also went through my stash and found some musical pieces. So there's um, a sticker from Pink Fresh that says Playlist. There were some uh, cassette tapes from a, an old Doodlebug Designs Valentine's Day collection that I just never used. And they were just in my, my random embellishment drawer and so I pulled those out even though one of them says like our song and love song I just decided to use them anyway because they're mixed tapes I don't really care what they say um, I guess I could have tried to cover that wording up a little bit but I didn't so whatever and then a couple of the other pieces I think there's um a sticker from the Simple Stories summer sticker book of a boom box uh, so I, I was able to find some musical pieces or enough musical pieces that uh, fit the theme for this and then everything else is just kind of like just kind of cool like there's the there's some journaling spots um, from the Obed Marshall collection that I purchased and it has numbers on it so I'm going to use one of those I think both of the journaling spots are Obed Marshall but one of them has numbers on it and so I'm going to use that to like start the countdown of my top five songs for the month of May. Um, and then because I am using foundation paper, don't worry, I will do a little bit of mixed media um, because I, I hate using Vicky Booten foundation paper as just a plain white background I because it's such a, I feel like it's such a waste. If you're going to be using it, you got to do some sort of mixed media. So I'm going to be bringing up some splatters, some color coordinated splatters to go that match the circles with the numbers on it. Um, the photo that I printed, I actually used my Canon Ivy mini printer to print it out. So it's a two by three size photo, self-adhesive, and I just backed it with a couple pieces of pattern paper. Um, I've got a little uh, strip of pattern paper going behind this whole like cluster thing. And because I had everything laid down where I wanted it, I'm trying to very carefully um, not move too many things and, and stick things down so that they don't so that they don't move and get all out of whack because I really like the way everything has been placed. I've also got some Echo, some maybe Echo Park stickers. Yeah, I think Echo Park stickers creating sort of like a little banner uh, underneath that pattern paper strip. And um, what else do I have on here? I think that's kind of, oh, and the, the pattern paper strip, I'm also bringing down to the bottom. So I've, it's almost like you've got this big cluster on the, um, more towards the upper left side of the page. And then on the bottom, again, going along the diagonal, 
you've got that little piece down there at the bottom right. And so I'm just trying to tie everything together by using the same um, pattern paper strip. And I was able to use the pattern paper strip on the top and bottom because on the top, I didn't, it's not running all the way across that cluster. I cut it so that it looks like it's running all the way behind that cluster of photos and stuff, but it's actually not. So just a little trick so that you can get more use out of some of your scraps and stuff if you do it that way. Um, what else can I say about this layout? I haven't gotten to the colors yet. So what are my top five songs? Um, and now I can't remember in particular order, but um, there's an Imagine Dragon song that's on there. That's probably on there because my daughter's really into Imagine Dragons. Um, and there's also uh, Schools Out, which is a cover. Uh, I can't think of who it's by, but it's on the Faculty movie soundtrack. Um, and it's a really good cover. And it's the first song on my Last Days of Summer playlist, which... I've been playing, let's be honest, since the spring, even though it's a, a summertime themed playlist. I'll try to have that linked below as well. So you guys can check that out if you're needing uh, some summertime songs to, to listen to. Um, another one from that playlist, The Heat Is On by Glenn Frey. It's been one of my favorite songs since I was a little kid because I heard it in dance class. I think one of the older groups of girls did a routine to that song and I was just really obsessed with it. And I love the horns in it. Um, another song that's on there. Ooh, I should I should have had the um, I should have had the layout right in front of me so I could tell you. Oh, there's a song by Ruth B, and it's called Lost Boy, and it's basically about Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. And um, I, I don't know if it's popular, if it was used in something. I really have no idea how. I it kind of like I just kind of randomly discovered it listening to music on YouTube one day. And then um, the other day, my daughter was watching one of her favorite in YouTube influencers, and she was singing this song in like a talent show. And I was like, what? How does, how does this girl who's younger than me, how does she know what this song is? So uh, apparently it's in something or it's, it's more well known than I thought it was. So there you have it. And then I can't remember what the other one is. I'm going to write it down here in a second. But when I'm recording these voiceovers, part of the video is covered up by the little thing that says recording. And it's like, could you move that someplace else so I can see what's happening in the video? But anyway, it doesn't matter. I used old um, Doodlebug Alpha stickers to make the title and just did it top five. And then I'm going to write along the curve of that circle there, uh, the month and the year, just so I can remember what these... Um, what these what or when I was listening to these top five songs. Um, I hope that, that you find this video inspiring and that even if you don't play along with the challenge yourself challenge, this still inspires you to do something. You know, get messy with the mixed media, do something about yourself. Of course, if you're gonna do mixed media, make sure that you open the container of Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Spray before you try to spray it. That's always helpful. Um, but I hope this just inspires you in in some way. And so if you're enjoying it, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you're already a subscriber to the channel, to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome back. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on other process videos and fun scrappy stuff. And let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions. Hopefully you're able to see all of these colors, Tim Holtz colors that I'm using as they go by. I tried to hold them up. I know it's sort of sped up, but I tried to hold them up lot for a long time so you could see them. But if you have any questions, definitely let me know down in the comments or just say hi or let me know what your favorite song is or what your you know top five songs for right now are. I'd love to get some, some new music to listen to. So let's share our favorite songs in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.